Now, I have a question for you. Have you ever heard of aortic heart valve disease? You may be experiencing symptoms that you think are related to something else, but really they're signs of this severe disease. Well, that's right. And recently, there has been an important clinical breakthrough in heart valve medicine. I spoke with one of the nation's top heart surgeons. Take a look. Well, heart disease is the leading killer of Americans, but how many people know that some of the common signs of aging, such as shortness of breath and increasing fatigue, may instead be symptoms of severe aortic heart valve disease? Joining us now to tell us more is Dr. Mark Gerdish. Doctor, thank you so much for joining us this morning. Good morning, Heather. So, Doctor, tell us what exactly does it entail when we say aortic valve heart problems, and how is that usually treated? Aortic valve disease occurs when the aortic valve doesn't open and close properly anymore, and that affects blood flow through the heart and out to the body. Uh, people can be born with uh, a valve abnormality that may not be obvious until later in life, or the valve can stiffen over time just as a consequence of aging. With respect to symptoms, some people don't have much in the way of symptoms, and the first time the valve problem is detected is from a murmur that a doctor or nurse hears with a stethoscope when they listen to their heart. But most people eventually will develop some symptoms, and the most common are shortness of breath and fatigue, which can progress slowly over time. It's very important that we're aware of those symptoms, though, because when people do develop symptoms from an aortic valve problem, only about 50% of those people are alive after two years. So we need to be attentive to that issue. So this is obviously a very serious issue, and some of our viewers watching might be thinking, oh no, that sounds like you know, something that I'm dealing with. Some of those symptoms sound very similar to what I'm feeling. What are some of the things they can ask their physician to check to see if that is what they are suffering from? Right, and that is so important, Heather. Many people develop symptoms and they attribute it to just getting a little older or they put on a few pounds when they in fact may have a problem with their aortic valve. So it's important that they describe any symptoms to their physicians, that they have checkups so that someone listens to their heart, and if they have a murmur, that it be evaluated. And if someone does have progression of aortic valve disease requiring valve replacement, then they need to understand their options with respect to what could be implanted to replace that aortic valve. And generally, there are two categories. There are tissue valves and mechanical valves, and they each have advantages and disadvantages. But in general, the, the, there are issues of durability versus the need for blood thinners. Tissue valves will wear out over time. In fact, I frequently reoperate people who have had tissue valves implanted only several years earlier but they don't require, they don't usually require anticoagulation, whereas the mechanical valves do require lifelong blood thinner. Mm. And in fact, uh, there was a new announcement recently uh, regarding the FDA's stance on blood thinning medications and then a specific mechanical valve. Will you tell us about that? True, so mechanical valves are, have the expectation of lasting your entire life. They, they can function your entire life. They don't wear out, but you do have to be on the blood thinner. Now recently the FDA ruled that the Onyx mechanical aortic valve, which is the only valve in the world that's built of pure carbon, and that seems to be the main element in conferring the ability to lower the anticoagulation dose, the blood thinner dose dramatically for that valve. They ruled that the valve could be managed for patients with the Onyx mechanical aortic valve at a much lower dose. And that comes from a study we did which demonstrated conclusively that patients with the Onyx mechanical aortic valve could be managed at a lower dose of blood thinner and would in, in fact experience a 65% reduction in the complications related to bleeding. Oh wow, so this, doctor, this sounds like really good news for patients. It's great news for patients. In fact, uh, it has resulted in uh, a sweeping change in the landscape of how we can manage heart valve disease in the United States. In the past, patients who would have benefited from mechanical valves may have avoided them out of concerns for the blood thinner. But now patients can have an onyx mechanical aortic valve and be on a much lower dose of blood thinner and also enjoy the lower, the lower complication rate. Wow, some really great information for our viewers this morning. Doctor, where can we get more information? So first, you should always start with your doctor because the doctor, you'll be able to talk to them about your symptoms and the options. But patients can also go online and go to the web and uh, go to onyxlti.com, onxlti.com. That's the website for the valve. Excellent. Doctor, I want to thank you so much for joining us this morning. Thank you for having me, Heather. And stay where you are because the Morning Blend will be right back after this.